All right, nieces and nephews, welcome back to the uh, Alligator Channel. This Wednesday, it'll be uh, four weeks since I put out a video. We're going to talk about that a little bit. We're going to risk a ride today. You can see all of our neighbor and our debris. We just had uh, Hurricane Milton come through. Yeah, the reason I say we're risking a ride, oh, baby, I got three quarters of a tank. Oh, that's good. That's better. Uh, since Hurricane Milton was just three days ago, uh, there are still a lot of places without gas. And uh, even though I don't necessarily need any right now, it's like, ah, uh, depending on where we go, if I need some. Anyway, so we're gonna, we're gonna risk going over towards Leesburg. We haven't done that since last December, I think, January, something like that. Oh man, it feels like fall out here, boys and girls. Feels like fall. Uh, for the first time since like May, I've got long britches on, I've got boots on. I'm even wearing my vest. I know uh, I got a couple comments that's like, uh, oh, you just got a sponsorship. Yeah, I got a sponsorship. Well, I got a few. You know, one of my favorite ones, one of my favorite ones is this first manufacturing vest that you can get 25% off your order. Uh, I'll have the link down below. It's either Bogator or Uncle Bogator. I'll flash it on the screen. High, high quality stuff. And I've lost some weight. I've lost about 20 pounds uh, since, uh, you know, the start of the summer or the middle of the summer. So this fits a hell of a lot better than it did when I first ordered it. Uh, there's also, I mean, if you guys are keeping track of Milton, I know a lot of you guys, um, a lot of my subscriber base is also uh, part of the audience for Shade Tree Surge. And I know you've seen, you know, he made a couple videos, you know, riding around you know, during Milton or talking about Milton or whatever. I didn't watch him uh, all the way, but, uh, you know, Tampa, that whole Tampa Bay area got hit pretty hard. And while we are now on the other side of the state, Oh, we got hit pretty good too. I think it was, uh, and it just transitioned from a category two to a category one by the time it came here. And we've had a very wet, very wet summer as it is. The ground was saturated. We have a lot of roads washed, completely washed out. I'm in a number of Volusia County uh, Facebook groups and a lot of people are posting pictures. It's also why I don't know if there's any gas or not because there's so many people still posting in those groups asking if we know if anybody knows if there's anywhere with gas baby did you see any lines at gas stations today while you were out no because none of them have gas yeah so she went out our dog had to go to the groomer she went dropping off pick him up so yeah so i got three well not even three quarters we'll call it five five eighths five eighths of a tank and she's got a full tank the plan is to go to leesburg and come back well that i might have enough gas for that i don't know so there's a circle k right up here at the end of this this road by the cul-de-sac and then seven or eight miles farther that way which is where we're going there's a circle k and a brand new 7-eleven that's out in the country so that's a that's a kiss curse kind of deal right so it might be far enough out to where people haven't completely pillaged it but at the same time Everybody else might have had the same thought, gone out there and gotten gas. Or, now the ports are open as of yesterday, they might not have even made it that far yet, so we'll see. We'll see. Thankfully, she was able to get gas in the car yesterday. Uh, the Jeeps had gas, so we're going to go there. God, it's beautiful weather. That feels good. Hurricanes always bring out the best weather directly after and now that it's you know mid-October, it's probably not going to get hot again like it was. Oh, I love my road king, guys. The last time we rode was to bike night, like two Wednesdays ago, and I and I rode the Dyna again. It's a fun bike. I love that bike. This one, I don't know. There's just something home about the road king. You know what I mean? Yesterday, I pulled both the bikes out and washed them. And I was going to talk to you guys on a video, you know, while I was washing, but I'm like, no, nah, I kind of did that already, but. Uh, the moto vlogs haven't always been the most popular if you look back at my last two videos i'm pretty sure both of those are moto vlogs and uh probably my least two performing videos in a while 
and uh, that was kind of a bummer. That's not what made me stop making videos for the last month, although it definitely didn't hurt that I'm, I'm thinking, ah, I'm not really getting all of it. Anyway, believe it or not, the, the views that have been carrying my channel over the last month and a half are the two that I made about the electric motorcycle chopper looking thing. Those things are still getting, you know, a couple thousand views every two days. I don't know how you guys feel about that thing, but uh, it's drawing in somebody. But no, why haven't I made videos in a month? I, I don't want to make a whole video about like where I've been because truthfully, you know, being around on YouTube now for about three years, three and a half years, nobody really cares. I mean, there were a couple of you that reached out like on uh, different posts that I made. So you guys know, if you have, if you don't know, we have four kids. You know, if one's 27, 24, 21, and 18. They're like three years apart. I think growing up, uh, she calculated 13 consecutive years of diapers that we were in the house. <laughs> so, fucking wild. Um, and, you know, as any young family, a young parents would do, we tried to get some of them into sports. You know, my oldest son was in T-ball. I was actually the T-ball coach for his team. I loved it. I had a blast. You know, the girls tried to do soccer. Uh, the oldest girl, you know, did softball a couple years from high school, but that's a whole different ball game. But nothing ever really took. I say all that to say our, our youngest, my grandson, um, that boy is head over heels in love with football and has been. So we got him in Pop Warner this year, and that started in June. And uh, there was a time when we first started it, it was two days a week. And we're like, okay, you know, no big deal. And that lasted for like a month and a half. Uh, and then we get to then we get to August. Let me tell you guys about August. Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. practice. Five days a week. And I made some videos in August, and I even made a video at the beginning of September or middle of September, whenever it came out. Uh, by the time we got to the first part of September, we did switch down to three days a week, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. But Wednesday has always been like our designated middle of the, the week. Date night, I guess. Well, bike night usually is what we do. Um, so we're, you know, we're, and his games are on Saturday morning, which usually would take half a day. So I started to feel bad. Sometime, you know, mid to late September, I'm like, man, I'm not putting out any content, yada, yada. And then I finally re just resolved to myself. I'm like, you know what? I don't care. I mean, I do, but I th I'm not doing content until after uh, October 12th, which was yesterday. Now, his last game was scheduled for yesterday, but because of the hurricane, they pushed it out to next week. I don't know if we have practice this week or not, uh, but I should be able to get this video out on you know, Wednesday of this week. I commit a lot of things to Wednesday because I'm off. Then I get to Wednesday and it's like, okay, I've got a VA appointment. I said I'd wash the Jeep. You know, do I really want to spend my entire day off the chores? I don't know. Maybe this comes out next Saturday. We'll find out. We'll all find out together. Uh, a couple of you guys have asked, hey, I missed the premieres. Where's the premieres? Uh, I, I wouldn't mind hearing from you guys if you like the premieres or you really don't care, you can let me know in the comments. Um, I've, I've been trying some things, trying to get more views. Yes, that's one of the points of YouTube. Yes, I enjoy making videos just for the sake of making videos. But you also you want to get views when I get subscribers. And I was trying some things for like the last six months uh, to see if I could get more views from outside of the subscriber circle. Uh, and it, it worked. For a long time the last two videos like i said didn't do so well uh, but a couple of you have mentioned that you know you missed the premieres let me know what you think let me know what you think because that'll really set the pace of a video like if i have a premiere and 12 people show up that tells the youtube algorithm that uh, there's not a lot of people interested in this video which is why i haven't done it anyway maybe what do you think about the algorithm I don't know anything about that. Oh. <laughs> well, me neither, apparently, or else I'd feel a lot better at it. <laughs> God, it feels good to be out on tunes. So if all goes to plan, 
we're gonna go up here and get some gas at one of these two backcountry gas stations and then head on over to this little spot that we went to last December, January, something. Um, just outside of Lee. All right, so the Circle K over there does not have gas. We're going to, uh, I know, I don't I don't need 93, it's just a habit. We're gonna see, this one looks like it does. There aren't any gas station in the land with gas. Okay, this is dry as a bone. <laughs> I got five cents, oh, there it goes, oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Anyway, just wanted to document that uh, your old uncle can get gas today, it looks like. How about that? So now we can go according to plan. I mean, the worst case scenario was if they didn't have gas, we were going to turn around and hit up like, uh, I don't know, the in-between or something near our house. But this will ensure that, uh, you know, we can head over to Leesburg and do our thing over there. You know what I'm saying? I hope they're open. The town? Not the town. A place that you're... Okay. Well, we'll find out. Well, uh, fortunately... Fortunately, this place was open. We were kind of worried. She brought it up. I didn't think about it because your old uncle's dumber than a box of rocks. But this place is right next to the water and it's downhill. So uh, there was going to be a good possibility that this place was going to be all underwater. But it's not. So let's go have some food and some beers. Yeah, have a good time. Oh, wait, we're not doing beers today. Oh, no, we're just doing water. Yeah, we're just doing waters. All right, I was going to get uh, Bo Mama scarfing down her burger, but... Uh, Oh, thankfully you did. Yeah, no, it was good. We were both hungry. The band stopped playing. The guy had some weird toes. You guys were going to get some free feet, but I was too lazy to pull my camera out. I don't know. I've never been really all that good at figuring out what to record or what not to record. So, hence the uh, growth of my channel at the pace that it is. But we decided we were going to just, uh, we just paid up. So, we're going to leave out of here soon and head back over to the uh, D land side visit our old faithful old Glenwood Tavern. But uh, yeah, it feels good to be out. Out and about riding again, recording again. Um, you know, I'll get, I'll get sit down and start editing and that'll feel good again. So yeah, we'll see you down the road. All right, boys and girls, that's gonna wrap this one up. Uh, kind of a short little welcome back. You know, it has been a while. I've actually got this video and I've got another video that's uh, queued up, ready to edit. I had these two, I've you know, just kind of been sitting on these two for the last couple of weeks. Little man finished his football last weekend. My wife and I have been out riding. We just haven't been recording because I knew I wasn't going to take the time to sit down to edit. I appreciate you all reaching out, the ones who did, and sticking around, especially to my patrons that have stuck around over the last month. I know it's kind of hard to, to throw monetary support at somebody that's not doing shit, basically, but no, I really appreciate it. But we're back on the regular now. I gotta start looking at what I'm gonna do with content. The moto vlogs, eh, they're okay, but um, it's more, I guess it's more of an insight to our lives, my life, whatever. But no, I appreciate you guys coming along for this video and all videos. And until next time, probably next week, we'll see you later.